words of Sri Aurobindo from the book The Mother, Part Two, Letters on the Mother, Page Ninety, Topic Lights and Visions of the Mother. Question by a sadhak. Last night I saw in a dream that from the mother's body light was coming into my body and transforming it. Both these bodies were longer than the physical bodies and were of a shadowy color like that of stones. What does this signify? For the Sri Aurobindo answers, good. It is the opening of the physical consciousness to the mother. It was probably the subconscious physical that you saw that would explain the shadowy character. The stone indicates the material nature. Date 39-1933 Question Recently I noticed that before the mother comes down from the terrace in the evening, she stands there for a long time. I feel that at that time she gives us something specially. So I concentrate to receive and feel what she gives. But this evening suddenly I saw when I was concentrating by looking at her that her physical body disappeared. There was no sign of her body as if she were not there. Then after a few seconds her figure reappeared. I felt at that moment that she was mixed with the ether and became one with all things. Why did I see like this? For the Sri Aurobindo says, the mother makes an invocation or aspiration and stands till the moment is over. Yesterday she passed for some time beyond the sense of the body and it is perhaps this that made you see that way. Date 29-8-1932 Question Today, while meditating in the Pranam Hall, I saw in a vision that the mother was absorbed in deep concentration. Why did I see her like that? Sri Aurobindo says, the mother is always in a concentrated consciousness in her inner being. So it is quite natural that you should see like that. Date 5 6 33 Question it was in sleep or in meditation, I don't remember. I was approaching the mother with a dish of various flowers. Before making my pranams, I offered her three flowers of divine love. Has this any correspondence with my sadhana? Sri Aurobindo says, It is not clear what this number three means in this connection. Possibly it is the aspiration for the divine slough in three parts of the being. Date 12-7-19-36 Question I saw the mother in the color of the flower detachment. Does it have any meaning? Sri Aurobindo says It must mean that that was the force which she was offering to you or else which you needed from her. Date 10 1 The mother sitting on the peak of an icy mountain. This is a question by the sadhak again. The mother is sitting on the peak of an icy mountain. A narrow path leads there and I am gradually advancing towards that. For the Sri Aurobindo says, this is simply a symbol of the purity and silence of the higher consciousness which has to be reached by the path of sadhana. The mountain symbolizes the difficulty because one has not to slip to one side or the other but go straight. Next question, let me tell you what happened during my noon nap. I was on the lap of the mother. She had put her transforming palm on my head. With her thumb, she was pressing or rather opening the Brahmic center of my head. I began to feel as if something was received from there. Then all of a sudden, there was a shifting of the consciousness into some other world. A supraphysical light was experienced in the cells of the body which was already flooded with the light. The physical itself was taken up. Will you please explain this phenomenon? 
for the Sri Aurobindo says, There is nothing to explain. It was what you describe. At once, the raising of the consciousness to a higher plane and the descent of that into the physical. Date 5-9-1934 The next question. Over my head, I see a plane of infinite and eternal peace. The mother is the queen of this plane. From there, I feel a ceaseless glow coming down towards me. It first touches my higher being and passes through it without any resistance. But on its way downwards, its flow narrows to a small current which passes through the Brahmic hole. How do you find this description? Sri Aurobindo says that is quite correct. In many, however, it descends in a mass through the whole head and not in a current through the Brahmic hole. Date 13-2-1936 The next question. Mother sitting on her seat, a cobra with many hoods behind her covering the head. It was a shining golden color. In the center of each hood, a shining red round spot. For the Sri Aurobindo says, The cobra is the emblem of nature energy. Golden is the higher truth of the nature. The hoods that you see, the many hoods that you see is the many powers of that nature. Red is a sign of Mahakali power. And the cobra covering the head with its hoods is a symbol of sovereignty. Date 23-1-1937 The next question. I see a rough rock. The sunlight falls upon it and the figure changes. In the center, a hollow circle is made and rocks arrange themselves around the circle. In the center of the circle appears a stone image of Shiva about two feet high. Afterwards, from this image of Shiva emerges the mother. She is in meditation. The sunlight falls just behind the mother's body. What does it signify? For the Sri Aurobindo says, rocks is nothing but the physical, the most material being. An opening in the material making room for the formation of the spiritual consciousness there. Stone image of Shiva. It's a realization of the silent self or the Brahman there. Peace, silence, wideness of the infinite, purity of the witness Purusha. Out of this silence emerges the divine Shakti concentrated for the transformation of the material. Sunlight is the light of the truth. Date 12-10-1936 The next question. The other day you asked me to be conscious in trance. I tried it hard and this is the result. I saw a holy woman entering a place where a few of the sadhaks were assembled for her darshan. She went into a closed room where we go to one by one and I noticed that everyone was allowed one or two minutes as is done on our darshan days. My turn was last. In the center of the room, the holy woman was seated wearing simple clothes. Without looking at her face, I put my head on her lap. She placed her hands on my head and caressed it softly, meanwhile murmuring to herself something like, let him have. The last word of the sentence I had caught quite distinctly then but cannot recollect now. It was the name of some spiritual power. No sooner had she said this, I felt a sudden rush of that power entering through my head. After a few seconds, she uttered the name of another power. This power knocked me with a tremendous force. It was shattering in its intensity. After a while, I raised my head and looked at the holy woman for the first time. Her face appeared like the mother's. Then I told her, may I ask you a question? 
She did not seem to like this, but as she had not refused, I repeated the question. This time she said, I do not like questions. I wanted to inquire about her two gifts of different powers conferred on me. Then I don't remember what I said. After a long time, we both came back to consciousness, for we had both entered into a trance together. We knew it only when we asked the doorkeeper how much time we had spent together. Afterwards, I told her, you must have entered into a trance, and I simply followed you. The whole phenomenon is beyond my understanding, my lord. Who was this holy woman? Why did she grant me the gift of her powers? A trance within a trance, this is something new. For this, your window says, Obviously, the holy woman was the mother herself in a supra-physical form. It was natural that she could not like questions. The mother does not like mental questions very much at any time and least of all when she is giving meditation as she was doing in this experience. It is rather funny to ask why. Your eternal why. Higher powers should be given. People do not question the gifts of the divine Shakti or demand reasons for her giving them. They are only too glad to get them. Trance within trance, of course, since your sadhana was going in, in the trance according to the ways of the trance. It is also in this way that it can go on in conscious sleep. The next question by the sadhak. While I was having a nap in the afternoon, I had a vision of a very beautiful woman sitting under the sun. The rays of the sun were either surrounding her or were emanating from her body. I can't precisely say which. The appearance and the dress seem to be more European than Oriental. For the Sri Aurobindo says, it was not a woman. A woman does not radiate, it is not surrounded by rays either. Probably a sun goddess or a Shakti of the inner light, one of the mother's powers. Date 20, 12, 19, 35.